What is an advocate for the elderly? Why do the elderly even need an advocate? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On here, a lot of hope, help, and support for caregivers and aging adults. So let's talk about the idea of having an advocate and what that means. Everyone can benefit from having an advocate, which is someone to support you every now and then through activities in life or issues in life. And specifically, when I talk about an advocate for the elderly, I'm talking about someone who can help older adults, your parents, your grandparents, eventually ourselves, advocate and navigate through situations with health care and finances and legal matters. Because unless we've done a truly amazing job of taking care of ourselves, our bodies and our minds will slow down when we're older. And even at some point, past the age of 85 or 90, our bodies and our minds will slow down. So a lot of older adults and seniors find themselves in unfamiliar situations where they're having to evaluate information and make choices about health care and how to spend money. And many times they may not have enough information about how to make these decisions. So if you've ever been involved in Medicare or Medicare supplement policies or prescription drug policies, all of that can be very confusing. So to make good decisions, it's important to have advocates or advisors. So if you have had your taxes done, you may have used a CPA or an accountant. Or if you invest money, you may have a financial planner who advises you on making investments. So an advocate for the elderly, specific to what I call elder care, care management, a caregiving expert, can shorten your learning curve and provide advice and examples of actual situations based on their experiences. So for example, because I've worked in the elder care industry for over 20 years, and I've had a company that provided in-home care to the elderly, and a care management company, and I've been a care manager, and a medical and financial power of attorney, trustee, the personal representative of the estate, court-appointed guardian, I have a lot of unique experiences about situations that I manage for my clients and that I advise my clients on about making healthcare decisions and how to plan money for care and talking to doctors at medical appointments and navigating health insurance and Medicare and Medicaid and all of that. So an advocate for the elderly is really a unique role because it's not until we get older that we realize that all of these unexpected things start to happen. And it can feel pretty intimidating and out of control and you can lack the confidence to make decisions because you've never done this before. There are many people out there who call themselves elder care advocates. And these people may be just somebody who wants to help the elderly but they don't have a lot of experience. So here's how I compare those. So would you take financial investment advice from a bank teller, even though they do work in the financial industry and the banking industry? That bank teller may be able to give you some advice, but the breadth of their experience is really limited to being in that bank as a bank teller, where a financial planner or a CPA or someone like that has much broader experience with more people and a wider array of issues. So that's the benefit of an elder care advocate, a caregiving expert, a care manager, a geriatric care manager, because they have what I call crossover skills. So all of the skills that I used in managing my businesses for over 20 years and I still use today cross over into the legal realm because of my experience as a court appointed guardian, medical financial power of attorney, personal rep of the estate and trustee. They cross over into the financial and financial planning realm because I was responsible for using my client's money and spending my client's money for their care and also planning money for care. And then into the medical and the healthcare realm because I was a court appointed guardian and a medical power of attorney. So I had to make healthcare decisions for my clients. And because of that, I had to be well versed in medications and the side effects of medications and health diagnosis and chronic disease and decisions about treatments and hospitalizations and end of life care and hospice and palliative care. So a skilled elder care expert or caregiving expert has very broad experience. 
There are a lot of advocates out there. It's important for you when you interview or talk about people or investigate them to make sure that they have the very specific skills that you are looking for. And when I say skills, I don't just mean book smarts. I mean, have they done this? How many years? How many clients? What kind of education do they have? Have they been involved in community service programs? A 30 or 60 minute conversation with an elder care advocate either by telephone or online or a virtual call, can save you so much time, so much effort, and help you make the best decisions. So as someone growing older, as someone managing the care for your parents, an elder care expert can be of significant support and assistance. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. I hope you found this video helpful. Please share this video with other people that you know who are looking for hope, help, and support, and who want to make solid plans about aging, caregiving, and health. I'll see you again soon in another video.